Hey folks, welcome to Spooky Appalachia. I hope y'all are doing all right. I know a bunch of y'all have uh, asked about uh, my little injury. So what happened was, and uh, you'll see why this is relevant in a second. So what happened was I slammed my finger in uh, an SUV door loading up one of my kids. And, um, well, I dislocated a joint and, uh, thought I had just broke it, but, uh, the doctor called me, uh, I think it was the Monday after it happened on a Friday and, uh, called me up and, and, uh, told me there was a second fracture further up on my finger, uh, at the joint. So, uh, yeah, that kind of explains why it's hurting so much. Well, anyway, it's all wrapped up now in a splint. I've got a bunch of doctor's appointments. Feeling a lot better, but, uh, you know. Well, here, here's where it's relevant. I thought it'd be funny to uh, do this story. It's about a, it's an old witch story called Jenny Badfinger. Yeah, it's pretty funny to, I thought, anyway. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and get into the story. I forget who sent this in, uh, so I apologize for not shouting you out. But a uh, big thanks to the fan who sent this in. It's a, it's a pretty good one. Greetings, Spooky Appalachia. Here's a witch story my elders told us as kids. Growing up. I thought you and everyone else may enjoy it. It's about a witch everyone called Jenny Badfinger. Back in the late teen hundreds, in lower eastern West Virginia, I guess it was Virginia back then, way back in the sticks was an old woman. An old woman named Jenny everybody feared they say she was a short old lady poor as dirt and rarely spoke but when she did everybody listened she lived by herself except for a ton of old crows that followed her everywhere she went no matter where she was crows would litter the ground in the treetops near her, as well as buildings. Jenny would rarely come into town because she knew how to work the land that she had up there in the mountains surrounding her old cabin. But when she did, folks kept their distance. They wouldn't dare look her in the eye. How that all got started was one day she came to a store to trade some spices and herbs and uh, for some flour and oil lamp. She rarely spoke and would just point with her left finger for what she needed. She always kept her right hand covered up with cloth or a lengthened sleeve. When she'd left the general store, a boy to a wealthy family ran into her, knocking everything out of her arms and spilling her flour everywhere. She just stared at the boy. Then his daddy seen what happened and screamed at Jenny, You need to watch where you're going, old woman. You better be glad you didn't hurt my son. Well, old Jenny snapped. Them crows started calling like crazy from the building tops. And she eased up to the boy's daddy and lifted her right finger, the one that she keeps covered up, revealing a long, twisted, bony, gnarled up finger. Much longer than any of her other fingers. She said in a raspy voice, yet unsettlingly calm, if you ever so much as speak to me like that again, Ned, your words 
shall rot out of your mouth. He started to say something, and then when he did, he started to cough and grab his mouth and throat. His tongue was swelling up in his mouth. Startled, the young boy picked up her stuff for her and handed it to her. People ran over to him as she was walking away. The further she got, the more the swelling went down. And that's how she got the name Jenny Badfinger. Well, one day after this, a man showed up at her cabin and was trying to steal one of her chickens. When the back door opened, he stopped dead in his tracks. She asked him, what do you think you're doing? He said, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm just starving. She said, it against your beliefs to ask anybody for a bite to eat? He said, no, ma'am. She said, just easier to steal, ain't it? Well, she fed the gentleman, and later he told everybody what was happening. But first, she pointed that bad finger at him before he left and said that her eyes turned gray and glossed over almost like a corpse's eyes and said, if you ever steal another one, they'll not, gra they'll not grab nary another thing. Sa they say later on that he must have stole again, but true to her words, the man's hands drew up and curled up to where he could barely even dress himself. And another little event happened later on. They say that uh, a man and woman visited her cabin one day asking if, uh, if she bewitched their cattle and livestock. She said, weren't my doings. There's more than one of my kind in these parts. I just don't hide it like the rest of them. They said that he tipped his hat and bid her good day. Said that as they were walking off, the lady noticed what looked like a grave. The man asked who's buried there. She said, nobody yet. It said old Jenny lived to be 102. They say that she was found lying there in that hole that she had dug. Said that a simple note was written in her hand saying, cover me up and feed my babies said that the entire property, the house, ground, trees, and everything was littered with crawling crows. said that the locals fed the crows for several weeks before they slowly stopped coming around. They said that even to this day, people still see crows calling up quite a bit around in that area, and you might even catch a glimpse of old Jenny's ghost roaming those woods. Wow, what'd you guys think of that one? That was, that was pretty pretty wild, pretty creepy. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Uh, I really appreci appreciate whoever sent this one in. It was, it was great. Um, Remember, if you've got a story like this, you can email it to me at uh, SpookyAppalachia at gmail.com. And uh, we, we feature all kinds of stories like this. And, well, I appreciate y'all for watching. If you liked the video and the story, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share it out to all your friends. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. But first, let's, uh, let's thank all of our supporters. 
they're down there in the ticker, but uh, two in particular, Jared King TV. Big thanks to him. And uh, Werewolf Radar Podcast. Be sure and check them out. Both Jared and Werewolf Radar Podcast, their uh, links are in the description below. They're in the, the higher support tier, so they get a special shout out. Everybody else is uh, down in the ticker down there. Um, I appreciate all of them and all y'all watching and sharing me out. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, all right? Have a good night, folks. And, oh, I guess you guys see it's funny now why I picked Jenny Badfinger. <laughs> Have a good one.